Hey guys, what's up? We're just gonna jump right into it. Today I'm gonna be reviewing some TikTok recipes. This isn't a hate on any creators at all. This is just like maybe a little bit of a learning moment or like telling you what I think about these foods. So we're gonna start off with a little home cooking. Let's just watch the video first. So I like the move. We're brushing some buns with some garlic, some butter, some parsley. Parsley isn't super flavorful, but it adds a little bit of freshness, which is nice. Um, we are going to toast the buns right away before we put anything in them or before we do anything with it. Um, it's a little fun. It's out there. Um, I don't think that this is like something that's super elevated. It just looks like something that you would serve kids and they are going to just go crazy for. So next, some white cheddar. Uh, just a classic staple and some leftover chili. Very simple and some hot dogs. Um, at this point, I think I would have preferred to have like pre grilled the hot dogs. And instead of throwing away those little end bits, I'm sure you could probably just like fit them up inside and just have one janky looking hot dog, especially if you're gonna cover it with cheese after and then bake it again. Um, but yeah, a little bit of like a charcoaly kind of flavor on the hot dog, whether it's on the grill or in a pan, something like that, will add a little bit more depth. Back into the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Wow, hear that sizzle? Look at that nice cheese. We, cut one out. we got some parsley to finish. Overall, this looks like a really tasty chili dog that you know your kids, your family are gonna go crazy for. The only comment here I'm looking for is a little bit of refreshment. So maybe some sauerkraut or some kind of like cabbage pickle, something like that would be really nice to help cut through the acidity of the different kinds of cheeses, the chili, and the meat. I think all of it kind of makes sense together. Just a little bit of brightness, maybe that's mustard. Overall, I actually really like this video. I think that it's really playful. You can pop it in the oven. It doesn't take too much assembly as far as, you know, each individual chili dog. It doesn't look as messy as a normal chili dog. Yeah, the move of cutting in from the top, solid move. I think this next burger video is done exceptionally well. We're starting off with some bone marrow and it's going onto a charcoal barbecue. Straight up, I'm like, great. Bone marrow on a burger is absolutely delicious and he's using a great piece of meat immediately after. And the bone marrow is actually gonna be used to cook down the onions. This is a pro move. If you've never had onions cooked in bone marrow, what are you doing? And just a healthy load of cheese on the burger, as well as the bun is toasted beautifully on the grill. The onions look really sweet and caramelized with the bone marrow. It's just gonna be like fatty and rich. So that's again where I'm looking for maybe a little bit of relish or maybe a little bit of like some pickles or some mayo or something that's gonna incorporate a bit of relief. And if your burger is just gonna be this heavy, you should have some sides that are gonna provide relief. Like a really acidic and bitter, like earthy chicory salad. And that's just makes a very complete meal. But the execution of everything he's done, phenomenal. It just looks amazing. Um, starting off with some tortillas and then what looks like a cream sauce on the bottom. And then we're going in with some American cheese, but it's only down the center. Next, some chicken tendies and some french fries. So chicken tenders, obviously it's breaded. French fries is starting to look pretty carb heavy. Again, with more sauce, more cheese, and then we're just closing it up and more sauce and more cheese and more cheese and more cheese. Oh my God. Beautiful caramelization on top. This is something that I feel very strongly about, and don't get me wrong, I love cheese. One thing I'm not a fan of is just the abundance and excess of it. More cheese is not always better. This is a lot. You have cream, you've got multiple kinds of cheese. I don't even know if the cheese at the bottom of the tortillas, like the processed cheese, matters at this point. So finding the right balance with acidity, freshness, bitterness, and all those other things will help make food delicious. Um, but it doesn't make it more unhealthy. It actually probably makes it more healthy having some lemon juice or some veggies mixed without. <laughs> and, but if you have a little bit of veggies inside of your cheesy goodness, yeah, just make it delicious, but make it healthy or healthier, <laughs> a little bit healthier. Um, Cause sometimes excess is just excess. This is a really great way to, you know, cook your chicken easily. Uh, a big thing about cooking chicken is there's many ways to do it, and it's somewhat always a pain to cook chicken. 
pepper, the bullet chili powder, and smoked paprika, and garlic and onion. If their color don't change, no flavor was gained. I love that line. If the color don't change, no flavor was gained. Don't be shy in your seasonings. Just more seasoning. Add on spices. Spices are necessities. More spice, more flavor. Maybe you don't need a million spices in your spice cabinet. I think you can probably get away with 10. There's nothing wrong with this guy's video at all. I actually really like this guy's video. For me, this is beautifully cooked. All those spices got nice and toasty, and this is just beautiful. Slice and dice, and we have. He says a squeeze of lemon makes it healthy, but there's literally nothing unhealthy about this recipe. Whatever oil and butter you're using might slightly make it a little bit more unhealthy. Another thing you can do to keep your chicken moist is brining your chicken, as well as you can sous vide your chicken. Flattening it out and doing the sous vide brine method is probably my like perfect concoction for the juiciest chicken you'll ever have. And that's all we have. Um, this isn't to throw shade at any creators. This is, I mean, obviously making content is extremely difficult in a lot of different ways. So people putting themselves out there, let's not throw hate to any of these people. So this is just my opinion on how to improve a little bit um, here and there to make things a little bit more delicious. But thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time and yeah, have a good day. Peace.